Hi, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Hyper Online with AirPlay to port it over without using any additional cables uh, to your PC. If you're a Hyper for iOS user with a computer, you might want to use your avatar with desktop tools like Zoom, Discord, YouTube, or Twitch. This guide will teach you how to use Hyper for iOS with tools like Streamlabs or OBS with mirroring software. If you have a capture card already, you might opt to use equipment instead. If you're not familiar with Streamlabs or OBS, it's software used by streamers to send video data to live streaming services like Twitch. It has a lot of utility that will allow you to use it with apps like Zoom and Discord. You can stream straight to some of these places on Hyper, but if you would like to use OBS for gaming, this is how you do it. In this guide, we will be using Air Server. Air Server is a mirroring software, so what it does is it takes the image from your iPhone and it ports it over to a computer. And of course, there are other softwares out there, so here are the things you will need. You will need Hyper for iOS, download it if you haven't already. You will also need Air Server, OBS, and optionally, if you like to use Streamlabs, you can use Streamlabs. Please note that Streamlabs is kind of finicky and sometimes it's not compatible with some Mac devices. This guide is for Windows users as Mac users can mirror their iPhone to their Mac via Apple AirPlay. First step, download Air Server Mirroring Program. You can download Air Server by scrolling down and clicking Download on Microsoft. The Microsoft application will pop up and prompt you to download it. Upon download completion, this window will pop up. You will choose to either purchase an activation key or continue the free trial. So first, get Hyper Online and configure your phone so it's ready for OBS mode. You can do this by getting the app. Once the app is installed, what you will need to do is configure your avatar. We have a bunch of pre-made avatars already great for you to use. After you've configured your avatar, go click the OBS button. On OBS, you can configure other things such as the crop of your avatar by using two fingers to drag. Position your character where you think is best. Once Hyper is set up, you are good to move forward with the next step. Next, let's configure our phones. Swipe down on your iPhone to view your main widgets. Locate the screen mirroring widget. It'll look like two overlapping rectangles. If Air Server is correctly installed, you should be able to locate the available mirroring network. The network name should match the network on your Air Server program. At this point, your iPhone screen should be projected onto your Windows monitor. The next step is adding your phone as a window source. Click the plus button in the sources panel to add a new source. A window should pop up. Click window capture. Make sure that create new is selected and rename it to whatever you'd like. Select airserver.exe as the window capture you want to add. You should see a preview. If your computer can handle it, crank the resolution up. Click OK. It should add window capture as source and get added to the scene. You may need to resize the source afterwards to fit the canvas. If you got a green screen or blue screen applied for Hyper for iOS OBS mode, you can remove it with these three steps. Right click the video capture source in the sources panel. Click filters, then click the plus under effect filters. Select chroma key from the list. This is a technical name for removing the green screen. Select the key color, typically blue or green, and configure it depending on your character's colors. For example, if you are a blue character, you might want to select a green screen. <laughs> configure similarity until it looks right, and then click OK. Most streaming software allows you to compose multiple inputs. From here, you can go wild and do whatever you like. But the simplest way to get started is to click the sources panel and click the add button to click an image. Select an image from your computer and click OK. Your image should have been added to the scene. If it's covering your avatar, you can drag the source to reorder the inputs. If you choose one of the default resolutions, you'll probably have some black edges on the side of your stream since the iPhone screen doesn't match the one of the standard video resolution. You can either set the resolution correctly or you can just crop it out in frame. To do this, click on the source in the preview and drag the resizing handle, the little square on the side, while holding Alt on Windows. From here, you can resize both the background and your avatar's layer as necessary, or you can add videos, websites, gameplay, whatever you want from the sources panel. Go wild. That's it. That's how you connect Hyper for iOS without any physical equipment. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, join our Discord, follow us on all of our social channels, and start streaming soon. Bye!